Greybeard the Ferryman, Part of the Viking Spirit, by Daniel McCoy. While on his way back from one of his journeys to Jotunheim, Thor reached a deep fjord. He could see a man standing by a boat on the far shore and called out to him, Ferryman, who are you? The ferryman mockingly returned the question, Who are you, peasant? Though taken aback, Thor chose to ignore the slight and to offer the man with the boat a reward for bearing him to the other side of the water. He pointed to the basket he was wearing on his back and said, This thing is full of fresh herrings and porridge. If you help me across, I'll give you as much of my provisions as you can eat. But the stranger on the far shore ignored this offer and continued to insult his potential customer. Look at you, he scoffed. You're barefoot, and what clothes you have are just tattered rags. You look like a beggar. The man who built me this boat was a great hero, and he told me, wisely, to only give passage to those who are worthy, and to people whom I myself know. You, as far as I can tell, are neither. If you want to have any chance of being ferried across this fjord, you'd better tell me your name. Thor rolled his eyes and sighed. All right, I will tell you my name, though it might put me in danger. I am the son of Odin, the brother of Meili, and the father of Magni. The man with whom you speak is none other than Thor, and now, why don't you tell me your name? I'm Harbard, he said. The name, unbeknownst to Thor, was one of Odin's, and it meant Greybeard. But I didn't want to reveal my name to you until I knew yours. You give every appearance of being quite a disreputable fellow, and it's always well to be on one's guard around such folk as you. By now, Thor had become so angered by Harbard's taunts that he could no longer retain his composure. Gesturing violently at Harbard, Thor yelled, If this water weren't so deep, and I wouldn't get so wet in wading across, I'd come over there right now and give you the payment you deserve for your slanderous words. I will stand right here and wait for you, Harbard replied in a sardonically casual tone of voice. Not since we're near have you met a more formidable foe. Well, I slew him, didn't I? Thor retorted. And what were you doing at that time? Harbert answered the rhetorical question as if it had been asked in earnest. I was with Fjolvar on the island of Algron for five years. I felled countless enemies and coupled with countless maidens, even the seven sisters who gave me great pleasure. And what were you doing at that time? I dealt Thiazi, that monstrous giant, his death blow. Then I cast his eyes into the heavens and formed stars from them so that proof of my deed would live forever. And what were you doing at that time? Why, seducing sorceresses away from their husbands and making love to them, naturally. Oh, and I convinced Hjelbard, that famed wizard of a giant, to give me his staff. Then I used it to steal his wits like I stole those women. And what were you doing at that time? Unlike your vile deeds, mine were virtuous and upright. I was off in Jotunheim, slaying yet more giants. If it weren't for me, they would have long ago overrun all of Midgard and all of Asgard, and there would be no men or gods left. And what were you doing at that time? I was stirring up strife among men. I have always incited the princes to battle, and never have I attempted to make peace between them. After all, when noblemen fall in battle, they go to Odin, but when slaves perish, they go to Thor. Thor's anger reached a boiling point. You argur Harbard, if I could but reach across the sound with my arm, I would knock you straight into the grave. Harbard chuckled. Why bother? Your empty threat conceals the fact that you haven't offered a tale of some accomplishment of your own to match the last one I gave. So while I was pitting kings and heroes against one another, what might you have been doing? Thor glared across the fjord and snorted while thinking of a suitable rejoinder. I was guarding the river from the sons of Sfrang. Though they slung boulders at me, I maintained my post, and in the end, I had them begging for mercy. And what were you doing at that time? In the land of the giants, I stealthily played with a maiden whose skin was as white as new linen, and whose arms, neck, and forehead were wrapped in countless fine pieces of jewelry. And what were you doing at that time? I was on the island of Hjelsi, hacking down the malicious brides of berserkers, are you really boasting about killing women? jabbed Harbard. They were more like she-wolves than women, protested Thor. They shook my ship and chased away Thialfi while swinging clubs made of iron. 
In any case, what were you doing at that time? Raising my banners against your people, and making ready to redden my spear. I have never met anyone with a mouth as foul as yours. If I chose to wade the water that separates us, one strike of my hammer would make you howl louder than a wolf. Save your rage for the man who's sleeping with your wife as we speak. Now you're just conjuring up whatever lies will offend me most. Everything I've said has been perfectly true, and speaking of truths you don't want to hear, you've put yourself well behind on your journey by standing there and quarreling with me, haven't you? Ard Harbard, you are the one who has held me here so long. I never thought the great Thor would be prevented from traveling by a mere ferryman. Come on, let's drop this idle chatter. Row your boat over here and carry the son of Odin and the father of Magni across the fjord. You're wasting your time standing there on the shore. You will not gain the passage you desire. Then at least tell me how to get around the bay if you won't row me over it. To tell you the way is easy, but to go that route is long and arduous. After scrambling over the roots and rocks for a good while, you'll find a hardly more civilized road that will take you to the town at the head of the fjord. There you'll meet your mother, Fjorgen, and she will guide you back to Odin's realm. Can I reach my destination by nightfall? Well, you've squandered much of the day standing there arguing with me, but if you hurry and don't hurt yourself along the way, I suppose it's possible. If I ever meet you again, I will give you the payment you deserve for your slander, shouted Thor, who had not discerned the true identity of the man with whom he had been conversing. Odin replied, be gone, and may every foul creature in the world find its way to you. <laughs>